Okay, so with this problem, um, pretty simple. Uh, when it comes to choosing an equation that best describes the problem, you need to think about sines and cosines. So what's the sine of pi over 2 and, neg and negative pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2? It's 1 and negative 1. Cosine of 0 over here and cosine of pi are 1 and negative 1. So depending on where he starts, if he's going to do a staircase up to the carriage here or if he's going to climb a staircase up to the carriage here, um, it's going to change which equation we use. So if, we, if he starts at the bottom uh, or anything vertical with respect to the center here, it's going to be a sine equation. So we're going to go a sine over here. Um, if we choose to start here on anything horizontal to the center, go with the cosine equation. But we're going to start at the bottom, and it's going to be sine. Okay, so that's the equation we're choosing. So that solves part A. For part B, find the amplitude, period, phase shift, and vertical shift. All right, so one thing you need to realize is that um, people may make the mistake of saying, okay, well, it's 115 meters above ground here, so that must mean that 115 minus a radius of 90 is going to be 25 meters above the ground. The 25 doesn't matter. All that matters is the distance from the ground to the center of the Ferris wheel. And the reason why that is is because if we were to plot your position on a chart, we start here at negative 90, right here at the very bottom entering the carriage, and he goes on the Ferris wheel and he's going up, up, up to zero, over here, this is where zero is. And then he's going up and up and up to 90, and then back down. So the dotted line is the sine curve and the solid line is the cosine curve, okay? Um, if he started here, you would start here with the cosine curve. So we're basically taking this and we're shifting it by three pi over two to get to a sine, okay? So our phase shift is going to be 3 pi over 2. All right. Now, we're trying to find the amplitude. The amplitude is how high it is to one of the crests of the wave. So the amplitude is 90. The period is 1 over the frequency, or 26 minutes per revolution, um, because the frequency is 1 revolution every 26 minutes. So you just inverse that. That's the period. The vertical shift is how high he's going from the ground level all the way to the center, which is 115 meters. So that solves part B. Um, for part C, we have to find the equation. So we need to find the A, B, and C values. We found the amplitude, um, which is the A value. We didn't find B, and we found the phase shift, and we also found the vertical height, the vertical offset from the center. Now, what this B really is, is omega. And omega is 2 pi over the period. We know the period's 26 minutes, so he's going 2 pi radians, or one full circle, every 26 minutes. That's all that's saying. And that's your B value or omega value. They're, they're the same exact thing. And this is called angular frequency. Okay. <clears throat> Ang angular frequency. All right. So now the equation is 90 sine 2 pi over 26 T plus 3 pi over 2 plus 115 meters. Let's just keep the units on there. Okay. Now we need to see if this equation is correct. All right. So let's just give it a test run. When time equals zero, what is y? So y at t equals 0 equals 90 sine of 3 pi over 2, because plugging 0 into here makes this term 0, plus 115. And that equals 115. And then this turns out to be negative 1. And so that becomes 115 minus 90. And that equals 25 meters. Is he 25 meters above the ground? When he starts, yes. So that verifies the equation. Now the question part D asks, 
what is his position above the ground at t equals six? And his position above the ground will be y at t equals six is nine sine, 90 sine 12 pi over 26 because we multiplied two pi times six up here plus three pi over two plus 115. That's 90 sine 6.16. That becomes this whole term becomes the negative becomes a negative 10.85 and I just put the 115 up front to go one to make it 115 minus 10.85 and he should be 104.15 meters above the ground and let's see if that answer makes sense so if he's 104 point after six minutes six minutes would be um, one fourth of a full revolution because it takes 26 minutes to make one revolution so he would be around right, right here. So is that a little less than one fourth of a revolution? Yes. So it verifies that our equation is correct, our calculations are correct, and this should be the, the right answer. Um, any questions, just make a comment on Wyzant. Thank you so much for watching.